Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. So my hands look extra red today. I've just put some cream on them, but it's so cold here that my hands are just red all the time. Um, and against this green polish, which I will go through shortly, it's one of the polishes that I've picked up. So I've been buying polishes, because <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> And I've picked up some UK indies and some H&M polishes. So I have actually set up my D-Stash shop now on Instagram, so I'll show you the details of that here. And because I've made some sales this week, which has been great, I have been able to buy some nail polish. So that's, for me, justifying the reason of breaking any kind of no-buys and things is because I've been able to use my D-Stash money to buy new nail polish. What I'm going to do is swatch the ones that I've got. I did actually pick up, let's start with the H&Ms. I picked up six H&Ms. I'm only going to show you five because one of them is a Giwi polish for this month. Um, so that's a heads up, it's going to be a H&M. Um, and of the six, so I've got five here, I'm actually going to keep these three and I'm going to use these two as um, like bonus polishes with the Giwi. So if you win the Giwi this month, you will get Jewel Beetle from H&M and also Science Fiction, which is a kind of silvery blue duochrome. Uh, but I've just got so many duochromes and this is very similar to lots of other polishes that I've got. I didn't real, quite realise how similar. Um, so yeah, these two are going to be going with the Giwi polish for March. So look out for that. I usually put them the pictures on Instagram sort of to the, the last week of the month, towards the end of the month. So look out for those. And these are the three that I'm keeping. Now, it's funny because when I saw this one, I thought, oh, God, this just looks hideous. <laughs> Not my kind of polish at all. It's a real kind of orangey, peachy pink. It just looked really gaudy to me. Um, and I was saying to Polish Pony, I think I'm going to de-stash this one immediately. And she said, well, swatch it and see what you think. And I, said, and I kept saying to her, no, no, I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to de-stash it. But I did actually swatch it and thought, oh, this is very different for me. It's very unusual. I'll show you against my skin in a second when I've got the second coat on. But that was Phoenix. And this one here is, I think this one's called Emerald City. Yeah, Emerald City. And again, it's kind of duochrome glitter. Um, it's kind of green gold with a blue base and then this one here which is in the same vein but this is blue with silver glitters and this is called Nocturne and this when I swatched it reminded me a lot of um, one of the Cadillacer polishes in the Game of Thrones collection um, I think it's called The Night is Dark and Full of Terrors um, it's very similar, actually, but maybe even a better formula. So look out for me possibly de-stashing that Cadillacer. So those are those three. I'm not going to swatch the other H&Ms because I'm going to, you know, I want to give them away unused. Um, so that's the H&Ms. I'll come back and do a second coat on them. I also picked up, based on this picture on Instagram, I picked up this polish. And it did take a while to arrive and the maker had said to me it's because um, she was trying to get the glitters um, to disperse properly. And I said, well, I'm used to having to put the bottle upside down. It's called Here's Looking at You Bats. Um, and it's a really pretty purple. It's more like a cream than a crelly. I don't know how she's managed to get any of the glitters to show up, actually. But these teal green glitters... Um, now it did show up on me. I didn't ho I, yeah, I didn't have the bottle upside down, so I am trying to disperse the glitters a bit more. 
um, and it didn't look as glittery on my nails. I mean, I still liked it, but this is what it looked like on me. So what I think I'm going to need to do is hold, you know, just store the bottle upside down and wait for some of these glitters to fall down a bit. Um, but you can see them in this purple base um, when you get them on the brush. So, yeah, I, I really do actually quite like this one. So that's here's looking at you bats. And this is from a UK indie Little Fudges beauty shop. So now that I've held this upside down a little bit, let's see if I can get any of those green glitters to show. Yeah, there's a lot more actually here on the swatch. So I think in my haste to get it on my nail, um, I didn't pick up many of the glitters the first time, but actually that looks really pretty just on that first coat. So I will come back and do a second coat, but that's here's looking at you bats from Little Fudge's Beauty Shop. So I also decided that I really like the look of, again, based on photographs on Instagram, swatch pictures on Instagram, um, of the Spring Quartet, Pastel Quartet from Prison Polish. And Prism Polish is a UK indie brand that I haven't tried yet, that I've been wanting to try. And the swatches of these polishes looked just absolutely amazing online. Um, they didn't have any of the, the bigger bottles left. So I actually got, they call them dinkies. They're six millilitres. So it's dusty bluebells, wood, an enemy. An, an, I can never say that word properly. An enemy. Heathland Mist, there we go, and Speckled Egg. And Speckled Egg is actually what I'm wearing on my nails today. Um, so I'm I'm not going to swatch that one because they are dinkies, they're only six millilitres, so they, they are quite small bottles. Um, and this did take four coats for me to become opaque, so that I wasn't seeing any of the nail line, which kind of looks a little bit thick, um, it's it's fine, I just needed to set aside a little bit of extra time to do my nails because it did take a little bit longer than usual. They did dry quite quickly in between coats, but what happens with me is things like this. So even though it's surface dry, because there are four layers, um, and I did try to do them quite thin, but there's still like softness underneath, so things like this happen with me. Um, but I do like the polish and I do like the finish. It's really, really pretty. And there you go, the glitters inside. Just ignore my cuticles. Um, but it's very, very pretty. So that speckled egg. So this one is wood. An, an enemy? An enemy. An enemy. <laughs> oh. So I think you can see there on the the swatch. That one I think looks a little bit um, more opaque than the green actually. I think I'm just not used to applying Crellies very well. Um, I, I naturally go to put a thick coat of polish on and that's not what's always required. So I think, you know, if you know in advance that this is a different type of application and it's um, you need to take a little bit more time and care with it, then you can get a fabulous finish. Um, so I will come back and put another coat of this on. And then the, the other two cream pastels. So really pretty lavender and a lilac. Um, there's lots of purple in this. It's a blue purple and this is dusty bluebells. And it does have a really pretty, there we go like flaky shimmer in there pink to gold flaky shimmer it's really pretty and the swatch pictures of this just looked really fantastic really bright and really glowy and the very much the same with this one here which is heathland mist and again it's got i don't know if you can see it there um it's like an iridescent purple flaky shimmer again um now for me they didn't look as bright um they're they're a little bit more gray but they i mean they're still very pretty 
the lavender shade. Um, again, requiring, I would say, two to three, possibly three with me. Um, now this one, when I first applied it on the swatch, because usually when I do holes, I'm swatching straight away, and I get the uh, the you know the immediate response, but I couldn't wait, and I got these polishes all came at different times last week. Um, but I swatched this, I think I swatched it on my nail, actually, straight away in the morning when it arrived. I just couldn't wait. And I was quite surprised that they are fairly sheer and you do need to build them up. Again, so they're, they're all very similar, the four of them. Um, but you do get this very pretty finish. Um, yeah, but slightly more greyed out than the, the picture. Of the pictures on Instagram were really glowy, bright. I do like these and I'm not complaining, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sort of mad at any of the polishes that I've got this week, but, um, yeah, just a slightly different colour. But interestingly, um, Prism Polish, I noticed on Instagram, she set up a, um, a Pinterest page where she's showing lots of different types of swatches against different skin tones, which I think is a brilliant idea because it gives you an idea of what will match your skin tone a bit more so yeah I mean anything that can help out the consumer is a fantastic idea um, so I'm going to do a second coat on these polishes and come back and we can take a closer look here is a second coat on everything and I've put a top coat on the glitter here so the the H&M's, this is the one that I thought was going to be hideous, but I actually, there's something about this that I do quite like. So Pony was right, Pony's always right. And this one is Phoenix H&M. And then this one here is Emerald City, is a really bright, glittery two-coater emerald. So that's Emerald City. And this one here is a really beautiful blue with those glitters. I really like these H&Ms. Um, and actually there was a 60% off sale. So some of these were like 179 A couple of them were 279 And this one's Nocturne. And this one you can really see those glitters. So it was just me. <laughs> so sorry little fudgies if you're watching this i wasn't bashing you earlier it was just completely user error so you can get really good glitter coverage and that's two coats with a shiny top coat and that's here's looking at you bats really beautiful purple with teal glitters and then here's the um spring quartet there's three there and then the one that i've got on my nails so this one is speckled egg and wood anemone anemone <laughs> and that's two coats and these do look a lot brighter so again it's just it can be just the light so this one is heathland mist yeah heathland mist with that very subtle pretty iridescent shimmer and this one is Dusty Bluebells, which I did think, with the finish, I did think it was going to be a little bit like Sinful Colours Cinderella, but here's Sinful Colours Cinderella, it's considerably, it's a different blue. So this is much more of a, of a lilac, uh, a lavender blue. Um, but still got that same, you know, similar iridescent shimmer um, but yeah that's dusty bluebells very pretty I'm actually really quite pleased with this quartet um, not opaque and I think I'm just used to one coat opaque but the finish is very smooth I didn't need to put a top coat there on this Crelly um, and I think it's just me I need to learn how to use Crellys a bit better and apply them a bit better <laughs> um, yeah so that's my haul look out for the H&M um, Giwi that will be coming up in a week or so on Instagram and um, yeah let me know if you've picked any of these UK indies up recently and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye